Ask any fan of Dragon Ball Fighters who the game's greatest competitive player is, and they'll likely give you one of two answers. The ferocious Sonic Fox or the indomitable Goichi. Both have taken home the Dragon Ball Fighters Evo Championship trophy, and their frequent clashes have formed the backbone of one of the most electrifying rivalries in fighting game history. But at the 2020 Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour Finals, only one proved that they were deserving of the title of strongest man in the world. The Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour is sort of like the game's equivalent of the NBA All-Star Weekend. 16 players from around the world who have racked up the most points during the annual competitive season compete to see who's the best of the best. This year, both Goichi and Sonic Fox qualified once again. However, fans were robbed of another faded rematch when Sonic was unexpectedly knocked out of the tournament before the top eight following an amazing match against Premier Piccolo. Player Apology Man. So not Ooh, gonna play. Oh, my gotta God. vanish. You gotta vanish. He's not dead, though. He's, dead. He's beyond dead. The thing is, will Apology Man not choke? Oh, he got him! And did you see no Apology way. Man? I hope somebody caught that. He really looked like he was about to throw. Uh -oh. Go through level three. Goichi encountered no such roadblocks, flattening pros such as Bon Bon and Shanks to emerge in the top eight on the winner's side. In fact, the only major loss he'd incurred the whole season was against Sonic Fox earlier in 2019, so without the genius player there to stop him, it looked like nothing would stand in his way. His first opponent was Tachikawa, a skilled Yamcha specialist who had clawed his way into the World Tour Finals by emerging victorious from a last chance qualifier the previous day. The young upstart's tricky tactics proved to be effective early on, scoring him a swift win over Goichi in the first game. Some quick thinking and strong adaptations allowed the legend to close the gap, though, and after some limbering up, Goichi took the next two rounds back to back and moved on to the winner's finals. You don't have to use much balls. If he opens ball, look up, that is a dead ball. The ball is oh, hard to punish. Why do you mess with the master of defense? El Grande Go Udo qualifies to winner's final, pops his fist, we will see the king. Standing between him and the grand finals was De Kill Sage, Sonic Fox's sparring partner and one of the sole American competitors left in the tournament. De Kill Sage, who's famous for making underused characters like Broly seem incredibly strong, fought admirably, even taking a game thanks to his overwhelming offense, but eventually fell to Goichi's powerful lineup of top tier Saiyan warriors. Ooh! He was so ready for this, and Goichi gets the opening. What a clutch moment by Goichi! Can you even make this guy lose in 2020? In the end, it would come down to one final match between Goichi and another high-class Japanese player named Fenric, a player who had just scored the highest total points of anyone in the season of the World Tour. Undaunted, Goichi made a strong impression straight out of the gate by achieving a perfect victory against Fenric's fierce fighters, only to have the tables turned in the very next round as an unfettered Fenric perfected him right back. Evenly matched, the two traded blows back and forth, bringing the match to its final game. Fenric pulled out all the stops, but not even his tried and true Vegeta was able to eke it out in the face of Goichi's unstoppable might. Okay, there it is, using that spark time to great effect. 6M with the follow up. Okay. Oh, man, it's shut up, and this is gonna be it! 16 challengers entered, but only one emerged as the strongest in the world. And after all of the heartache, strife, and challenges that he had to endure on his road to victory, there was no one who deserved the title more than the one, Goichi Kishida.